Hello, Dr. Joe here of the drjoe.com and the 2020forum.com. So in today's video, I'm going to be answering two questions and the two questions are blood pressure related. They arose from my last video. Now, the first question is a popular one and uh, the other one uh, was sent in uh, via email. So, uh, because they are blood pressure related and um, this channel is devoted to all matters uh, blood pressure, uh, it behoves on me to answer these two questions. So, the first one is about uh, what arm is best for blood pressure measurement, okay? What arm is best? And the second one was sent in via email, like I said, and uh, it's from a lady and she said, well, dear Dr. Joe, when I checked my blood pressure as per your instructions, on both arms in your last video my left arm blood pressure reading was 142 over 88 and the reading on the right arm was 138 over 85 what arm should i use for my blood pressure measurement going forward good question uh, i'm going to answer them uh, separately even though they are related so let me start with the first one. What arm is best for blood pressure measurement? Now, strictly speaking, there is no best arm, okay? But there's a caveat there, and the caveat I'll talk about when I answer the second question. So strictly speaking, there is no uh, best arm for blood pressure measurement, uh, and what should define what arm you use should be based on one word. And the word is convenience okay and the logic is this uh, if you're right-handed uh, you should measure your blood pressure on your left arm the reason being that it's easier for you to apply the blood pressure cuff on your left arm with your dominant arm in the same vein if you're left-handed you should measure your blood pressure on your right arm for the same reason so uh, and I have had a very good look at the literature to see whether uh, clinically, uh, it is better to measure your blood pressure uh, on one arm over the other and there is nothing in the literature to support the use of one arm over the other. So uh, whatever you're going to do in terms of measuring your blood pressure should be based on convenience. Use the arm that is most comfortable for you, okay? And there's also the issue of the blood pressure, especially the systolic blood pressure being expected to be higher in the dominant arm compared to the non-dominant arm. Uh, now, the reason for that thinking is that because you use the dominant arm a lot more, you're gonna have more muscle development. So the dominant arm is expected to be slightly bigger than the non-dominant arm, which means you need higher cuff pressures uh, to get uh, accurate readings. And for that reason, you're gonna have uh, artificially higher systolic blood pressure readings in the dominant arm compared to the non-dominant arm. Now, I'm glad to report that uh, this recent study here published in the Clinical Physiology and Functional Imaging Journal uh, with the title Inter-Arm Systolic Blood Pressure Dependence on Hand Dominance has answered that question uh, because they looked at uh, that issue as one of their outcome measures and they found, uh, according to them, uh, they're saying here that our results show no evidence of higher systolic blood pressure in dominant arm and thus clarifies the hand dominance issue as a factor not generally needing to be considered in clinical assessments so there you go uh you know the question is answered here and uh, it should no longer be an issue to be uh, considered now one more thing uh, i've had people tell me that when they go to their doctor's office their doctor is always using their left arm for their blood pressure monitoring and uh, i've also had people tell me that when they go to their doctor's office the doctor is always using the right arm uh, so uh, which arm is best well it's all based on that same word convenience okay it all depends on how the furniture in your doctor's office has been set up if it is set up in such a way that when you come into the consulting room uh, you're going to be sitting to the right of your doctor then obviously he's going to be using your right arm to measure your blood pressure because that's that's the arm that is closest to him in the same vein if the furniture is arranged in such a way that when you come into the office uh, you're going to be sitting to his left then he's going to use your left arm for your blood pressure measurement because that's also the arm that is closest to him 
And obviously, if you are sitting in front of him, he's going to use either arm. There is no preference of one arm over the other. And clinically speaking, uh, there is no evidence to suggest one arm over the other. Okay? It's all based on convenience, either by your own measurement or your doctor's measurement. Okay? Uh, and like I said, you can go with the logic. Uh, if you're right-handed, measure on your left arm. If you're left-handed, measure on your right arm, okay? And like I said, I've had a very good look at the literature and there is really nothing to suggest one arm over the other. And in clinical practice, it makes no difference. So, now there's a caveat and that leads me on to the second question. And the second question being uh, this lady who checked her blood pressure. Uh, by the way, if you haven't done that, if you haven't checked your blood pressure on both arms, like I suggested in the last video, well, you should go do it because it's got clinical significance. So uh, if you haven't watched that video, please go ahead and watch it. Now, for this lady, uh, she measured her blood pressure and the left arm reading was 142 over 88 and the reading on the right arm was 138 over 85. And she was wondering what arm to use going forward. So, uh, here is the thing. When you do measure your uh, blood pressure on both arms, you're not going to get the exact same reading on both arms, okay? You're going to get a slight difference. And then the question arises, okay, I got this now. Um, what do I do next in terms of going forward? Which arm should I use? It's very simple. <laughs> um, you may want to think that you should use the arm with the lower reading. Mm, no, no. Uh, you should be using the arm that gives the higher reading. So for this lady, her left arm was 142 over 88 and her right arm was 138 over 85. Uh, she should be using the left arm. Now, I have to say this, you've got to make sure that the reading is consistent. So if you are getting consistently higher reading on your left arm, use your left arm. And in the same vein, if you're getting consistently higher readings with your right arm, use your right arm. Okay, that's all you need to do. So hopefully you got some value from this video. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. Please like the video. I also want to know uh, what you've been doing. What arm have you been using to measure your blood pressure all along? Okay, I just want to carry out a little survey from all of you. Have you been using your left arm or your right arm? Please do let me know uh, right below. Uh, and also, if you're going to change your practice based on what I've just uh, said, uh, also let me know as well. Um, now, also, please share this video with your friends, family and colleagues. I will appreciate that. Uh, now, if you haven't joined us yet at the 2020 Forum platform, please go ahead and join us there. Uh, I think that's about it. Oh, by the way, there should be two videos on your screen now. Go ahead, click to watch any of those two videos. They are videos designed to uh, enable you to take control of your health. Uh, I think that's about it. Until next time, well, this is Dr. Joe signing out.